Do you accept, we're going to talk to all of you here for a little bit. Do you accept that, mm, this is going to be a, a, a fun um, uh, process for you. So, so don't try hard in this. Just listen to us softly and come along. You can speak out loud if you want to, but just process the questions and feel how your answer that comes easily from you feels as it comes forth do you know do you understand that's a good word understand isn't it do you know do you understand that you are a vibrational being in a vibrational universe yes. and that you're good at translating vibration yes. do you understand accept know that law of attraction is responding to these vibrations and affecting everyone and everything don't you love knowing that do you understand do you know that who you are in this personality which is so important is and not just an extension of source energy but a balanced counterpart a co-creative partner that that you are inextricably tied to all that you have ever been and to all that you are becoming and that you stand that you stand in your human form at that juncture where your past and your future are meeting can you feel what that feels like and and so as you focus there can you feel the benefit of all of the past and what it means to the now and the promise of the future and what it means to now but don't you just adore the now yes. so th that was really good and and you are right there we we felt you knowing what we know about that so now can you can you feel just for a moment just try to reach for it the vantage point that we hold in all of this can you step away just for a moment from your personality and what you are seeing and just imagine our part in that just just try it's hard we know because your your part is so vivid but just imagine that we are everything that we just described you as being that you understood we're just better at enjoying the now we adore the past more than you do because we don't focus on it in any of its detail we adore the past and what it's brought us all to and we are ravenous about the future because it's not the future for us it's the present so imagine where our juncture is so you've got your past and you've got your future and you're standing right here we're with you in all of that we feel like you feel except we're over here we are we are knowing what you are calling future as our present tense you follow that so now we're on our high flying disc you know that we're on our high flying disc you've been there sometimes you know what it feels like and we're focused from our high flying disc on you where do you think in this continuum of beingness where do you think we are focused do you think we're focused on your past do you think we're focused on what you call your present do you think we're focused upon we we call your present well if we were on a high flying disc if we and we are and you were what would be what would be what would be the most delicious aspect of all of that for you to focus upon what part of that would you like the past or would you like what you call the present or would you like to be over here in the new in the fresh insight so we'll just ask you again now that we've given you this leading question again where do you think we are where and, and how futuristic is it in other words you created is it pie in the sky or is it something that's real is it something that you have synthesized out of life and it's leading edge
certainly is leading edge to all of us you want to call it future we want to call it now so just rest with that for a little bit so now you're on your high-flying disc where do you think we are we've been talking about you in relationship to other friends you're up here and they're not and you can't communicate same with you if we're on that high-flying disc and you're not no communication is happening so what happens to you in relationship to us when you get on your high-flying disc you know what we know you know what we know it feels invincible you know what we know and so it's not coming for you it's here it's not future tense for you it's now in other words you're we're celebrating the success that you're reaching for but when you're on your high-flying disc you're feeling it now you see so okay so you're, you're still with us you followed all that so far so now do you believe do you understand that you and we are eternal beings so does that mean that there's always more contrast that's going to cause more expansion and there's always more of what you want to call future so is it logical that in the same way that you call something future we also would call something future so does it make sense to you that we are all together co-creatively creating the eternalness that we are all about are you getting the sense or do you absolutely know that it's never going to get finished so on this continuum of past and present and what we are calling present don't you want to spend all of your time in that gap between where you are and where you're going and don't you want to see it in the way that the source within you sees it don't you want to have access to those thoughts that are calling you forward and how do you have access to those thoughts that are calling you forward you get on the high flying disc but what does that mean you feel your way to it so what is life if it's not a feeling in other words can you define life in any way other than feeling you can you can describe well I saw that and it was beautiful but what does the it was beautiful part mean it felt good it means it felt good to you you can say I hate I ate a meal and it was delicious but what does it was delicious mean it felt good if uh, he loved me he looked at me and he loved me and I loved being loved but what does being loved mean it felt good, it felt good? in other words it's the way everything is about the way it feels so so here we all stand on some continuum and there's paths that we could examine oh there are so many ruins to see <laughs> there but they're beautiful there the is past to examine and there is future to speculate about and there is present to observe but it is all happening right now and it all exists for one reason and one reason only it has the potential to feel good you see so the reset button that we're attempting to push here with all of you is that we want you to leave here caring about one thing and one thing only and that is about how you feel and we want you to decide that you have the ability to focus your mind in ways that feel not good or focus your mind in ways that feel good and once you get a whiff of this and you begin to discover that not only do you have the ability to feel better than you felt and then better and then better and then better but there is always something you always have the ability to feel even better than you feel you can be clearer than you feel in your clearest moment and you can be funnier than you are in your funniest moment and you can enjoy music more than you've ever enjoyed it in your most magnificent moment and you can eat food that is more delicious than it has ever been there's always something more and you are innately wired to always be reaching for that now here's the piece that we really want you to understand since we are all in this together and since you are an extension of that which we are and since you sifted through and told us all what you want and projected a rocket of desire about it with such clarity because of what you were living we rode that rocket and we know it and now we are standing in your present tense that is different than the present tense that you are standing in if you will reach for the feeling we will call you home to who you have become you see and in that moment 
you're going you're gonna to be laughing harder than you've ever laughed. You're going to be feeling more empowered than you've ever felt. You're going to be enjoying whatever you're doing more than you've ever enjoyed it. And, and you're going to be free of trying to sift everything out and decide what's right and what's wrong and who should have done that and who shouldn't have done that. You'll be free to come into alignment and resonance with who you are, which means you'll step for the first time, maybe, into conscious, deliberate awareness of why you're here and what's it all about. And when you start deliberately co-creating with those like us who know where you've been and don't care, who know who you've become and do care, who know where you are and where you're wanting to be and do care, who can guide you every step of the way, not to an end result that you will like better, but to a present moment that will feel better, to a present moment that will feel better. Because it's all about now. All of your power is now. All of our power is now. You just got to practice yourself into knowing your power, practice yourself into feeling it. How does the word power feel to you? feels like clarity it feels like certainty it feels like ease because when you're in full power Esther told a friend the other day I love engines in cars she loved the monster bus she loves her Audi R8 she loves opening it up wide she can just feel that engine click into its awesomeness in other words those lower gears it will tolerate them but it wants to be full throttle and wide open and it's happiest in that fullest combustion and so are you you see so it's time for you to stop pinching yourself off stop trying to please other people who don't understand stop, stop trying to rein yourself in because you appear to be obnoxious <laughs> <laughs> and just live the robust life that you came forth to live we've enjoyed this how do you feel right now we feel the way we always feel but we are heightened in the way you feel right now you see because because for us we we've been here when you come over we have a little festival <laughs> yeah you're thank you i mean i could do a rampage of appreciation uh, but i will vibrationally so thank you All right, let's get to something that feels more like real life to you.